My name is Tuomas Masikka and what we're looking at today is this game what I've designed uh, Kalevala Tale of Sambo. A game of hidden movement and the main statisticals are here. Uh, one to six players is the recommended and you could see maybe one and a half hours and quite advanced game but the rules are quite easy. And um, you can see the main cover of the game box is looking at the game map. And uh, you might recognize from the shape that there's like uh, this silhouette of Finland and neighboring countries. Uh, so this Kalevala actually takes place uh, in Finland and in the region of Karelia, so also part of Russian. Uh, it's in the 19th century, uh, we have this uh, legendary poet uh, Elias Lönnrot who visited that region uh, and collected different folk tales and made an epic out of that. And uh, this epic is a converse of 50 runes and uh, it's called National Epic here in Finland. But I think uh, you'll find that even uh, internationally this game and the world behind it will have uh, much appeal. Uh, part of this reason is that uh, the characters inside are really fascinating and curious, sort of uh, weird, you could say. And uh, what I could say is that uh, even Tolkien took some inspiration out of these characters. And um, you can find this uh, focus on narrative and theme all around this game. Uh, so basically uh, this uh, tale of Sambo, as the name suggests, uh, takes place up in the most uh, core uh, tale in, in Kalevala. Uh, it's, it's around this artifact called Sambo. Uh, this is sort of like an artifact which uh, grants the owners uh, infinite uh, prosperity uh, and wealth. Uh, it was forged originally by this one of the characters in the game uh, who sort of did it uh, in order to get this um, maiden of Pohjola as, as his bride. Right. So um, the Sambo was forged, all right, uh, and then uh, they gave it to Pohjola, uh, the people who are living in the northern area, and the fellow I mentioned earlier is Ilmarin living in the south, called Vainola. So it was uh, received by Pohjola, and they're quite happy about it. But uh, as the Maiden of Pohjola has perished now, uh, the original makers here, here in Vainola aren't, aren't happy about the situation anymore. So uh, they gather their forces, these three heroes called Vainamoinen, Ilmarinen and Lemminkainen, and go north and want to take back the Sampo. And they succeed going there, perilous journey, all right, they did do it. But uh, as they uh, go there, uh, they get the Sampo, they go back, uh, they actually made them go to sleep with their beautiful singing. Uh, but as they go south, uh, because of premature celebration, they actually wake up in the north and start chasing them. So hence the hidden movement about the game. And we can actually now proceed to look at the most uh, important rules about the game and trying to keep this quite concise. So, as I said, the main purpose is to go from Pohjola, as all of the characters actually start here in the same location, just from the spatial restriction I've been keeping the Pohjola leaders here, but they are sleeping. And these fellows will be trying to go down, 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 and here. Uh, and, and actually the only leader that matters is the leader who has the Sambo. So it's, it's called Sambo Bearer in the game, as he's carrying the Sambo. And if he uh, reaches this destination, Vainola instantly wins the game. Um, and sort of like, you could uh, play from other setups, but this is what's set up here. Um, and you could see that uh, they have like these locations here, all around scattered. 
uh, you can see there's paths connecting these locations. There's like uh, brown, which is path uh, on land, and then there's uh, blue, which is of course on water. And if you're moving on water, uh, you will need a boat, of course, and it has a different uh, uh, applications to the moving as you get one more movement point in water. And um, basically the moving is the one part of the uh, turn structure. Um, the other part is doing actions. You can do a maximum one per liter, but it's all, all happening simultaneously. And uh, the two sides in the game here, you can see Vainela. And on the side is the chasing one, Pohjola. Uh, so all is doing simultaneously here first and then there and back and forth, maximum of 12 times. Um, and here you can see it starts with uh, doing actions. So if you want, you can uh, sort of get new cards or uh, add to your movement, do things like that. Uh, the actions are all listed here. It's mainly doing with uh, different cards. Uh, you have to destroy them in order to get the action. Uh, this is part partly because the leaders are quite uh, exhausted already from their hard journey to the north. And now they have to sort of save their uh, energy a bit. Uh, so if they have done some actions, maybe use, using their special ability as well, which is not an action, uh, then they would move. And the movement is, like I said, uh, from point to point. And uh, for Vainala, these guys will move uh, one maximum point less than Pohjola. So on land, it will be uh, two, like I would move this magnet here. That would be two. I could just move one, or if I feel extra cheeky, I could even remain there. So, um, that is the movement. Uh, after the movement, uh, they will have to sort of reveal at least part of the information to the Pohjola side. As you could see, the others are playing on the other side, they wouldn't know where we are. Uh, so, that is based on the uh, trap uh, mechanism in the game, uh, which is sort of like if you moved uh, from here to here, uh, you have to reveal at least one path uh, from this guy's movement. So you could ask this path or you could ask this path. So maybe that advice thing here is to ask this one. You could you should announce to the other side, okay, is there a trap between Pohjola 3 and 22? Uh, if there was a trap, they had laid uh, 12 tra traps on the beginning of the game. You get some uh, extra downsides. Uh, but mainly the thing is that they will now know, okay, they moved from he here to there, but they will not know that did we continue from here to here or maybe we went here. And uh, the thing is that because he actually utilized the same information, he doesn't have to uh, ask for any, any more trap paths. So there's no more trap uh, announcements as this Vainamoinen li leader is also not uh, moving, so he's not asking anything. All right, so that was basically their turn. Uh, before we uh, go to the other side, I just quickly want to mention that uh, you could see here the, the cards are the main resource in the game. These are the three leaders you could see, and all the cards underneath that leader are uh, considered uh, usable or in their possession, so they could uh, utilize their effects. Uh, mostly you, you don't need to actually read any of these uh, uh, texts in the different resource cards as only the uh, color matters, uh, the text only matters if it's used in combat and won with. So you could see if this, this symbol, it's only win, if, if you use the, if you win the combat with this uh, card, you get this effect. Uh, in, in the leader card, you can see there's no such symbol, so you can maybe see, that, okay, this is leader card, you can do this special effect as is written on the card itself. So this fellow is a good singer, he gets uh, more people to follow him. And um, you actually, at the beginning of the game, you sort of uh, divide these cards between your leaders. So the advised thing here is to do, if you're not doing some weird st strategy, is to just give one of each color to each leader. So I'm doing that. And um, not only this, but you have to uh, decide who is uh, taking the responsibility of being the sambo bearer. Uh, this is something as the same is with the cards. You can change this uh, in the middle of the game, even on your opponent's turn, if they're sharing uh, the same location. Then they are trading resources 
possessions and it's not even an action so you can just do it freely uh, if they would be on the same you i would like at the beginning of the game maybe he's the sambo bear but then i might change to lemmingain because they're in the same place but now we can just sort of continue along you can see here these are just like uh, three extra leaders to both sides uh, you can obtain these leaders if you win uh, the corresponding scenario so there's a uh, war for red uh, singing contest for yellow or golden and uh, woo wooing scenario for silver and this actually is because uh, these are like different sp spheres of power uh, this red is violent violence uh, golden is influence and silver is intrigue and uh, you will see this uh, going around in the combat as well as it's all sort of like a sophisticated uh, rock paper scissors where uh, violence beats singing and the circle goes around and just quickly from this side it's almost the same uh, there's a bit different uh, turn structure as these Pohjola leaders will first move and then they will do the action. That's the most important difference. And they will have one more maximum movement point on each of their turns. And as well, if you're wondering what the heck are these small pieces, it's uh, this, uh, still a prototype even though it's a, uh, really advanced. Uh, so there's like uh, these traps that was laid out in the beginning of the game. So uh, if the first round is now over, they will have to remove this trap one uh, if, it, if they didn't hit it. If they, let's say they hit this trap one, then at the beginning, of, at the end of this round, at the end of the, their turn, they will have to now remove the trap number two. So at the end of each round, as it says here, you have to burn the top most trap card. So it's a good uh, uh, advice at the beginning of the game for Pohjola to uh, put the numbers which are smaller, like one and two, uh, to where we started from, uh, as they will s slowly get a bird away. And just uh, these other things I wanted to mention is that the, here are the most important set of parts. Uh, these are like uh, the extra cards you can obtain in the game, and on the bottom are even like really narrative effects, as you can see from the actual runes from Kalevala, which are detailed here. And uh, the other side will be. Uh, a really sort of a weird swingy effect. If you feel desperate, you should get this. And um, here you can see, get, you see the trap cards, the boats, and these are actually important. These are like sample fragments. So for Pohila to win the game is to first locate uh, the Sambo bearer and then defeat him in combat. And we can see the Sambo here intact. But if they win the combat, uh, they don't instantly win the game. Instead, the Sambo gets fractured and the, all of their leaders get these fragments. So now all of the leaders are, are Sambo bearers. But now the next time uh, Pohjola wins the, the combat, uh, they win the game as they just obtained this valuable uh, fragment of Sambo. Um, and um, also one other way for Pohjola to win is if they uh, Vainala runs out of time. So all of these traps are burned so they were either really slow or they were just really bad and just went into all of their uh, cleverly laid out traps and these are detailing actually like the cards you destroy in the game as part of the main actions in the game um, they are actually sort of like uh, giving you more power uh, as the game progresses uh, as each will give power to the combat and there there are ways to obtain this back but i'll just leave that to the gameplay itself and this was just uh, a quick overview about the rulebook. This is just sort of like an achievement uh, sheet that will introduce even more uh, tail cards as you uh, unlock them, sort of, so to speak. And the rulebook is uh, 16 pages, uh, like this. All right, that's it. That.